The configure email options screen has got a load of different options relating to the emails which Roman Cart sends, such as the com confirmation email and the dispatch email. So if we just go through each one of these, uh, the link at the top is click here to send a test confirmation email. When you've got all this set up, hit that link and you'll be sent a test uh, version of the confirmation email. And that's really so you can just check kind of that you're receiving the emails uh, and uh, and what the format of it's going to look like to familiarize yourself with that. So the confirmation email address is the first field here, and that is where the merchant copy of the confirmation email will be sent. So, of course, when a sale is made using Roman Cart, uh, an email, a confirmation email is sent to the customer, and you also get a copy of it sent to you as well. Uh, so, for example, in this case, we're sending it to sales at oneshades.com. Uh, and then you can add additional email addresses underneath as well, uh, such as, for example, here we've got it set to customer.support at onechase.com as well. So a copy of the email is being sent there. By the way, uh, it's a good point to note as well, if you if you ever have any problems receiving confirmation emails, then what, the first thing you should do is put an additional email address in this box here. And uh, you want it to be on a different email server. So do, use something like a Hotmail address, add it there, and just send a, a test confirmation email address sorry, send a test confirmation email, and of course if you receive it on the Hotmail address there, then you know it's a problem with your uh, with your email servers, and you can get your email administrators to look into that. Um, so, uh, looking down in the next field here, so we've got the name on the confirmation emails. So this is the name that the uh, that the email appears to have come from. So in fact, we've got an email address there, but you can actually put a friendly name in there, so we could have One Shades Customer Support. And then underneath here, we've got the confirmation email return address for the customer email. So what that means is when the customer clicks on the reply button on the, on the on the email that they've received from you, this is where their reply will be sent to. So here we, if we have customer.support at oneshades.com. Now, confirmation email return address for the merchant email here, you should leave that as service. Uh, you should leave that set to service at romancart.com. Uh, if you change it to any other address, then there's more chance that you're not going to receive your confirmation emails uh, because of the way that kind of email systems work to validate where emails have come from. The email, your confirmation email, is sent from the Roman Cart system. This is the one to you, uh, and so it's best to have it uh, sent from a, a Roman Cart address. And there's another option here. You can tick this box here to make the merchant email uh, appear to have come from the customer email address, which is really good because if you get that then um, you can click on the reply and immediately reply to the customer. But um, there's, you know, some email servers don't seem to like that. So, you know, tick the box, test it out. If it doesn't work, then then untick it. Uh, it all depends on your email servers, basically. Uh, so the next uh, option is, is the confirmation email type. There's two different types of emails. There's HTML and text. And... Uh, uh, and also what's called a multi-part email where the HTML te and text are, s are sent in the same email. Now that's the best option to choose because if the customer can only receive HTML emails then they will see the HTML version and if they can only receive the text emails then they will see the text version. So uh, that's kind of the best of both worlds there. And then you can copy dis the dispatched email. If you're send sending dispatched emails then you can make it so a copy of, of that is sent. Obviously it's sent to the customer but a copy can be sent to you. Follow-up email. If you're using follow-up emails, then here's the friendly name of where the follow-up emails are coming from, and the email address uh, as well, where the from address where, where they've come from. So again, uh, when customers uh, click on the reply button there, that's where they will be replying to. So show dispatched confirmed email address. Now there's some standard text on a uh, on uh, on a dispatch and a, a confirmation email that just says, uh, you know, thank you, your order has been received. If you want to show that standard Roman cart text and tick, tick that box there, if you've customized your emails to include that information in your graphics or with your own text, then you'll want to deselect that. Show shop name on email again. It will show the name of your shop on the email if you have that ticked. But if you've got like a logo and stuff showing that information, then you'll probably want to untick that. You can set the background image for the email. You want that to be a URL, uh, you know, starting HTTP. Background color for the email foreground color for the email and then there's some uh, configuration options uh, as well for the header codes uh, so we've got here the header code for the confirmation email and there we've just got some code you can put any HTML in there you like uh, we've just got an image there for the logo uh, header code for the confirmation email sent by other payment methods so the first box is uh, sent by those payment gateways where Roman cart knows whether it was successful or not um, the other payment methods such as check cash on delivery bank transfer custom manual swipe and cash uh, they use the the header if you put a separate one in that box there uh, and then we've got the header code for the dispatch email again we just use the same there just a, a company logo you can email the invoices the confirmation email by ticking that box there and essentially that makes the confirmation email the same as the 
invoice style that you see by clicking on the view link in the invoice column on the sales manager and then the next uh, the next couple of fields down here are two tracking references so uh, if you this is really cool because if you use if you get like a tracking code from your from your courier then you can use the dispatch uh, pop-up dialog box in the in the, in the sales manager uh, to enter that tracking code and then when the dispatched email is sent uh, it will automatically be placed within this in this header here so you could put something like uh, to track your order please click on the following link line break and then you might have I don't know for something from your courier so and then you put the reference tag there and so uh, all that means is so it would say well I've just put in there track your order please click on the following link and then we've got a bit of the URL there from uh, from that your courier provides that tracking ref tag there would be replaced by the tracking reference that you enter in the dispatch dialog pop-up on the sales manager uh, and then of course you can create uh, you can also have a different header for if you haven't got a tracking number so you might just put you know thanks for your order Thanks for your order. We thought you'd we thought you'd like to know that it had been dispatched. 